Uh, so my name is Christopher. Nope, let's start again. Okay, here we go. <laughs> um, I work for Riverwise. I'm an employee of Riverwise. Okay. <laughs> you happy with that? Are we done? <laughs> uh, no. I'm, I'm just kidding. Right. We can start the video now. We'll cut that out. So I got started with filmmaking probably because when my siblings and I were like young, like in elementary school, my dad would take home videos of us and we used to like want to pop it in and watch those home videos of us and stuff like that. And we would watch them over and over and over again. And so then later when I had a camera, I just kept filming and I filmed so, I have so many tapes in my basement that are like just awful, awful videos of like, me pouring pop into a glass for like hours because I wanted to make a soda commercial. It was awful. And at that time, I wasn't interested in documentary work. It was only when I moved out here because of hearing people's stories. That's what made me want to be like a community documentary filmmaker was the people here. And I started to do that in Beaver County when I had been here uh, maybe about three years. People had come up to me and kind of shared some of their stories and stuff like that. A lot of the video work at the beginning that I was interested in was about capturing stories of people who were in process and the cities that were in process as well. I felt like I was going through a process and I saw Beaver County in different ways going through that and I, and I really wanted to capture that as a means of kind of healing, hope, hopeful healing for in different ways for the community and myself as well. But I thought we could do that together in whatever way that made sense that we can be a part of a space that, that is also a space that, that my daughter could choose to live here too and, and could be an artist and, and could do whatever version of storytelling if she wants to do that uh, as well. So when I think about doing, about this being my home and about investing in my home, I also think that if my daughter chooses to live here, I'm investing in this place for her too and for making whatever space I can be a part of making so that she can thrive here too. I've spent a lot of time in this community garden over here. There's this thing that says like, grow where you're planted. And so being able to invest in the place where you live, wherever that is, is an experience that is different than investing somewhere else from afar. Because when you're investing in the place where you live, it's saying that, saying that like I matter, it's saying that my neighbors matter. It's saying that like this place that we are trying to live generationally matters. And a lot of people have lived here generationally. It would be hard for me to move away from here because I think there's rich relationships here and I think that there's there's just so much to to do and to invest in. A lot of people are like there's nothing to do here. <laughs> but, but but I feel like there's there's just so many there's so much to do in, in way of relationships here. And I told one of my friends, I was like, I think I feel like I've almost been mentored by entire Beaver County in some way. When I think about it, I think every interview I've done, every time I've sat down with people, I've always, I've learned something that every time I sit down with someone, there's a gift that they're sharing with me. They're sharing a part of themselves with me and it changes me each time. Sometimes it changes me in ways that I'm never the same again. And sometimes it changes me in small ways that makes me think about things. There's something about stories where we can sit, you know, in a different way and be open in a different way to receive and listen. We're willing to feel that empathy for someone or a group of people. Like most everyone knows the feeling of being affected by a movie or a song or something written where they're just like, they're more open to humanity because of it. It's like, to be able to get to be a part of that is pretty cool. And I do think there is something about filmmaking that it creates some kind of space at my highest aspiration, what I hope to do with film is not exactly that it's technically amazing, but that it can convey something that is a withness with people. When you go away that you feel like, oh, I feel like I was with them and I kind of understand what they're going through, what they're coming from, and maybe see how it's not something that is just them. It was someone grieving with something I don't identify with. Maybe I identify with the grief. And maybe there can be some kind of 
overlap of communication of someone sharing their story and someone else receiving it where there's this resonating happening. It's a beautiful thing, I think, and it can happen across any art form, but I like the idea of being able to experience audio and visual and sound and feeling like I'm in a space with someone in a way that says like, oh, I, I maybe I identify with this or what that person said right there is just true. I think in, in my own life, I've been trying to understand what it means to have a voice and advocate for things and, and advocate for myself in different ways and trying to understand what it means to be a healthy person, healthy community, all that, it kind of uh, holistically kind of wrapped up into the work that I get to do.